Hello, Donna from jdlandscape.com. Excellent initials. This is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm just going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. I talked to you earlier on the phone and I told you I'd send you this video over. So um, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine. So I'll make this as quick as possible. If at the end of this video you want to hear more, then I'll give you my number at the end and you can reach out and we can talk more. If not, feel free to use these tips I give you today for yourself. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is content. So I actually went to your page and it looks like you either just bought your domain and haven't set it up yet or potentially um, it expired. So this is what's showing up here. So I'll just kind of skip ahead um, and I'm going to show you on one of your competitors, you know, what I would typically recommend. So we have Newton Landscape here for the Newton area. They have a nice banner. Um, they do have their services listed with a little content. Typically, I recommend having more content on your page than this. You really want to have about a thousand words of content. And the reason for that is having that many words allows you to put more keywords in. And the keywords are what really gets you found on a Google search. So if I put in landscaping new in MA, the first thing you would normally see in a Google um, search would be the advertisements. However, there must not be anyone paying for those right now. So those aren't showing up. Ads can be hit or miss with ad blockers these days. They may not even show up. But, you know, buying the new Google guaranteed ads, you will get more qualified leads. And those will drive traffic to your site and help you rank higher. So the, the next thing you'll see, and for you guys, it's the first thing on this here search, is the map section. So what happens here is the top three companies in the area show up in this kind of preview screen. And you can see the rest by view all. And these are all based on citations. And the way to get citations is to get your business name, address, and phone number listed in directory sites such as Yelp, Yellow Pagers, um, even Home Advisor, things like that. And just one note on citations, not all citations are created equal. So citations that have to do with landscape specifically are going to be much stronger than ones that are completely unrelated to your field. And you guys do show up on here as number two, so you do have some good citations in place. Um, obviously, having your website, though, down, that's something you're going to want to fix or you will start to slip on these uh, rankings. So then we kind of get after the map section, we get to the organic results. This is where you see the actual company show up. Um, and here you guys are number three. So first we have two directory sites. We have Yelp and Who's. And then number three is you guys. So that's really good. Right behind you is Newton, which I use for the example here. Um, so they're one of your competitors. So what I'm going to do next is I took your um, website address because even though it is down, you, I can still kind of look at what's going, what was going on with it. So you guys right now, you have a little bit of local trust with a four rating, um, but you don't have any power behind your site. So if you think of the internet as a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes is going to get you know the most attention and the most visitors to their site. So you guys right now have 23 other websites or referring domains sending you back about 118 links back to your page. And uh, you guys are being found for 77 keywords. And it's like you've picked up 10 in the last month or so. And what that translates to is you're getting about 30 visitors to your site every month. And you did lose two recently, so you did have a couple more. And that could be a result of your site being down. So you can kind of see your ranking actually was a lot higher um, in March, and it has started to come down here. And that could be partially because of your site. All right. And so what I want to do next, is I'm going to click some of the keywords that you're being searched. So we can kind of, we can actually find out exactly where your traffic's coming from. So right off the bat, you guys have landscaping new in MA. This is a really good search. This is what I put into the Google search. And you can see there's 100 people that are searching this every month. So that's a, a good number of volume. And you guys right now are ranked number two, which means you're the second result that comes up. And I believe that is, well, actually, we saw that you were three on this because of Yelp and then Who's. So we have it as three. So even though er Eris is pretty accurate, but it may not have shown a change recently. Uh, one of those must have pa just passed you. And then we have, um, it looks like the exact same, but usually there's a slight difference. But Landscaping Newton MA is the same one. And for this one, okay, this one shows you as four, and it shows that you moved up a spot. So that might be where the three comes from. It just hasn't quite updated yet on this to a three. 
Um, and then you guys have your business name. So J and D landscaping with spaces, J and D with no spaces landscaping. And these are good because this is where you're going to get all your referral business or your repeat business. So people who maybe forgot your in contact info, they search you guys. So you really want to be in the top three for this. I mean, really top one if it's your own name, um, unless there's some other businesses that have a similar one or if directories have kind of got ahead of you. So 40 people search this one with spaces, uh, 70 search it with no spaces. So that's about 110 people right there. You guys are number three for the first one, number five for this one. So you did just drop two spots in the last month. So you're getting definitely some of your traffic from there, but you're probably getting most from these top two. Or well, actually, I guess it's really the top one. Um, so that you're getting most of your traffic from there. And this is another really good one, Newton MA Landscaping, just kind of reversed. 30 people search that and you guys are number four. So you want to be on the first page. The top 10 results are going to be on the first page typically unless there's a ton of ads or directories. Um, and so that's where you're gonna get your traffic. Ideally, I always try to get my customers in the top three, because then I know that they're getting at least a chunk of that traffic. Obviously, number one's gonna get the most of it. All right, and just as a comparison, like I showed you before, Newton Landscape, let's put them into Arif's and to see where they're doing. So they have a, a little bit of a higher local trust with a 12, and they have a little more power behind their site, 0.3. They're right behind you in the rankings, um, but with your site being down, I wouldn't be surprised if they start to move ahead of you and gain on you guys. So right right now, they have nine referring domains with 53 backlinks pointing back to their site. Um, they're being searched for 27 keywords, and they're getting 49 visitors to their site every month. So we can also just click their keywords and see what they're being found for. Some of the same ones, new in landscaping, landscaping, new in MA, landscaping, new in MA. So if we look at the first one, new in landscaping, 90 people search this every month. They're position one on that one. So that's that's really good. And so they're probably getting the majority, or I would say a big chunk of that, most of that traffic, they should be getting at number one. Then landscaping new in MA, they're number two. So there's 100 people searching that. They should be getting a chunk of that. Number one will obviously get the most, but number two is also going to grab a big chunk of that. So I would say a lot of their traffic is coming from these top, let's say, uh, five or six results here because they're ranked really high in them. One, two, four, two, three, two. Top three is really the goal for me. Um, and, you know, they, they've actually hit a lot of those as already. All right, so I hope that you have, you know, this has been helpful for you guys. Like I told you before, this is my phone number. If you want to reach out, we can talk a little bit more about what we could do to get your site back up and running and get you ahead of your competition and just dominate them. Because um, you don't want to just beat them. You want to beat them by a lot. You don't want them to be able to catch up. And if you guys aren't um, you know, interested in moving forward, then I would recommend definitely fixing your site. Um, and you know, then go ahead and use these tips that I did give you today. And thank you guys for watching. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye.